Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get gesture based actions on your GS3. So, obviously, on your GS3, you know that you can slide to unlock, you can enter in a little um, pattern to passcode, and all that stuff with just your gesture based actions. But with Navigation Layer, you can actually do a lot more with the gestures on your phone. So, swiping up could launch an app or it could jump into the settings. So pretty much this application is called Navigation Layer. It's in beta and the only way you can actually download it is by following a couple steps which I've linked to in the full tutorial. It's actually super simple. All you have to do is um, join the Google Plus community, um, ask to be a beta tester, and then download the app from the Play Store. But you can only download that app from the Play Store if you have the link and in order to get the link you have to be a tester. So again, check out the three steps that are in the full tutorial on GS3 SoftModder. Super simple. Now, once you have Navigation Layer installed on your phone, you're going to jump into the obviously you're going to jump into the app, and the first thing you want to do is turn on the service, and then you can check to start on boot, which probably is the most ideal. And then the next thing we're going to do is personalize bar. So we just tap on that. It'll jump into here, and here is where you can select where you want the bars. So here's the left bar, right bar, bottom bar. I will just disable the right bar or the left bar or the bottom bar and you can see that there's a little gray area, this dark gray area and that's kind of where the gestures will be input. So as you can see if I uncheck bottom bar that area kind of disappears. Enable it again, there it goes. And you can also hide it by obviously checking high gesture bar. Now you're probably going to want to have them visible so you know the area to input your gestures. And here you can edit that area and decrease and increase the size by pulling up and down or left to right. And that's as simple as it is. You'll notice that this is not English, it's Italian. The developer is Italian but it's pretty much telling you that you can modify the dimensions by sliding the sliders. So that's really it for editing the, the bar and then <coughs> The next thing we're going to want to do is um, edit the action. You can also edit feedback so it vibrates or makes a sound when you're on one of the gesture areas. So edit action is pretty much the main focus of this app. And here is where we're going to launch into what these gesture areas will actually do. So as you can see in the right area right here, if I swipe up, it'll open the last app. If I swipe down, it'll open task manager. If I swipe to the left, it'll open the calculator. And all these things can be changed to whatever I want. So you can also see that there are some root permissions that may be needed depending on the action. You don't need a rooted device for this app to work, but there are some actions that require root access. So if you don't have a rooted device, there is a link for the how to root your GS3 in the full tutorial. So make sure to check that one out. Um, to change an action, all you have to do is tap on that. It'll launch to the action selection screen. And all you have to do is just tap on whatever action you want. Um, and that will be now the action for whatever gesture you've selected. So you can see all the different options you have and of course you can just launch an application by selecting it from the list and then you can search for an application here by obviously searching. So that's really as simple as it is. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the feature. So I'll show you the swipe left for the calculator and then for the bottom it also will launch Angry Birds. So now that it's enabled, I can swipe up from the bottom because that's what I input. And you can see that it is now launching Angry Birds for me. It's just simple as that Angry Birds Go, that is. Which is kind of a fun game. I don't know if you have it. You can check it out in the Play Store. It's free. Um, then if I swipe to the left on the right bar, it'll launch my calculator. So there's a swipe to the left. Whoops. And there you go. Let's try that again. <clears throat> swipe to the left. You can hear the vibration and my calculator is launched. So basically that, that, that's the crux of the app. Um, it launches or launches settings or applications or whatever action that you've input by editing your action in the navigation layer app menu. So check it out for yourself. Again, you will need to be, become a tester and join the Google Plus community in order to get the link to download the app. But that's it. So make sure to check all that information out in the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Motor. Thank you for watching this awesome video. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys.